Hello everybody and welcome to my little showcase today. Today I want to present you my latest invention and I'm very proud of it because it's the world's smallest 7 segment counter. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess nobody else has made um, a, such a small uh, display counter because normally you would have at least two blocks in between. That's the design that Mahmoud Jumbo did with his piston tape. He had two blocks in between and I came up with this design with only one block in between. And uh, yeah, let me demonstrate it before I go into detail. So if I hit the switch, I will start a one second clock and it will count upwards. What you can see here is that it goes off for a spare second and I experienced that if uh, the numbers turn off before the next one turns on, the animation is much smoother. So the experience with uh, the animation is, is much smoother. Also, when you take a look at the jumping from uh, 29 now to 30, you can see that these uh, segments will jump over at exactly the t same time. So it's not a... Um, a overflow from this which triggers this one it's a synchronized clock between uh, behind it so um, even if we are at uh, 999 this one will flick at the same time as all the others because they are all using the same clock line so um, I can not just have a clock running I can also yeah of course if you want to um, put a uh, T flip flop next to it so uh, you can make a racetrack for example and stop the time and you can also if you want to count um, events that happen you can uh, hit this button and use this for a input as a uh, yeah, counter, upward counter and um, what's now difficult is how to reset uh, this thing because uh, if we want to go back to 0, 0, 0, 0 um, we would have to wait until it's at 9999 and we don't want to do this so I built in a reset line for the uh, segment so if I hit this button it will um, make plus one for all the segments so I can do this until um, these, this segment here is at 9 let me do this So we now got this one at 9 and this one at 9. This one is only at 5, so I will have to press this button 2 until it's at the 9. And now you can see only these two are changing because only to the right side the displays will change. And now we are at 9999 and I can hit this one once and all the displays flip back to 0. So that's pretty neat that you can reset the whole thing. And uh, yeah, now let's take a look at what's behind it because that might interest you uh, a lot, I guess. And that's how it looks like from the back. I know it's quite expensive with the hoppers, but if you want to build this in survival, uh, you might have an iron farm, then uh, it's not that expensive anymore. The design of Mambo Jumbo that I talked about earlier was 10 blocks deep, so let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's uh, not even bigger to the back and I guess it's uh, smaller in size from button to top because this one is 11 blocks. I don't know how much it was at Mamo Jumbo's design but you can tell this is quite small. It's completely silent because of the hopper and hoppers and droppers so you can't hear anything while it's counting. No pistons need to fire and uh, let me show you over here at the single segment how the redstone looks like for one segment. So we got the reset line down here, that's what makes the reset. Then over here we got the overflow for when it goes from the 9 to the 0 again. Um, and then back here we have got our data tapes built in with hoppers and droppers for our seven segments and these will um, swap around blocks in a circle and the filling of these is quite difficult 
So you can see we got different items in each of these. So that's why I'm making a showcase and not a tutorial at the moment. But if you really want to see a tutorial of this design, you uh, should let me know in the comments because then I will take my time and make a tutorial if it's really worth it. Um, so you can see, uh, or you, I can show you how to build this thing. Um, but at the moment I don't have a lot of time. I had this laying around for about uh, yeah, a week or something and I wanted to record the showcase but I didn't have the time. So uh, let me know if you want to see a tutorial of this and I will make one. Uh, because this is quite complicated, the tutorial might be a bit longer. Um, but for the showcase, here's again the complete uh, design from the back. And yeah, that's basically it for me. If you like this, please leave a like. This is really appreciated because then I know that uh, you really want to see such things. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, of course. Um, and show it to your friends. And maybe you will use it at some point in your own world. I would like it because that's why I built these things. So yeah, let me know in, your co in the comments what you think about this. This is important for me. And now I'm out. See you in the next video.